multi-layer shader. So I'm going to go into my material editor. I'm going to come down into my uh, my basic parameters and pick the multi-layer layer shader. Uh, then everything else is the same as my um, anisotropy anisotropic uh, shader. So all these are the same. However, in multi-layer, I have two different layers for the specular colors. So I'll go and pick on a color. And the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to be in green. So I'll set my red, green, blues. All right. And so, so I'm a very green color, 250.00. And down here I'm going to set my color for my second specular layer. I'm going to do the same up here to a red color. So I'll make everything else uh, zeros here. Okay. And so now i got a red color. Uh, I'm going to set both of these to 5, which is barely legible. So I'm going to have glossiness. Uh, I'll set both these at the same values. So there's no difference here. These are the same as my... Um, ANSI uh, uh basic shader. Um, but here's the difference. When I increase the levels, notice I'll increase this up to 90, for example. You can see now my green speckler color shows up in the shiny spot. And there's two of them, okay? Uh, there's two different, uh, two different speckler highlights here uh, be, being controlled. And now I'm going to switch that, turn that down to zero, and I'm going to come up here and make this 90. And you'll see that now my reds show up. So if I put them both on, for example, now I'm going to have the color in between green and reds here, right? So I can make a percentage of these. So I can say, well, let's cut this down in half, right? So now I'm getting some red being shined in the shot, uh, the shiny spot, and some level of green. So I'm having less green in this case. So, and uh, I can go and magnify this. So you can see the difference here, right? So when I switch this to 90, you can see the color combinations of the two. I set it to zero. Right now we end up with all red. Okay, so we end up with two different speckler highlight controls, and we end up then controlling those down here uh, the same way we did before. So how much glossiness, uh, and we can control how much uh, anisotropy it is. If I make those very large numbers, for example. Uh, you're going to see that they come to be very elliptical in shape. All right. So I can change those down to be very low. For example, they're almost circular then. The higher the number, the more elliptical. And I can change the orientation in which it, way they rotate, uh, etc. And its level of glossiness, how much it uh, reflects back on you. Uh, the size of that spot, glossiness spot. So if I change it to 80, for example, it's very shiny, very small spot there. Right? So we go back to 50. And so the multilater is really not that much different um, to, to the anisotropic shader. Um, but it has the difference of having two specular layers that you can control.